Our group chose Bike Saviors as the nonprofit organization we wanted to design for. They are a volunteer run, non profit community bicycle education center devoted to teaching people bicycle maintenance, repair, and safety. This promotes the fourth goal of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is quality education. What can we design? Uh, we need uh, storage space for our new inner tubes. Uh, it needs to be 35 inches high, 4 feet wide, and a foot deep. We began our observation by looking at different shelf designs online. We then individually brainstormed ideas. Patrick said that he preferred to have up to 12 sections in the shelf in order for him to categorize the different sized cubes. We tried to incorporate this into our designs. We then began to prototype our ideas using pieces of paper. To test our five ideas, we brought them back to Patrick during our second meeting. He gave feedback on how he liked the idea of shelves being at an angle and suggested for us to use bright colors on the shelf. We also interviewed a community buzz, Brandon, who's been working at Bike Saviors for several years. Yeah, the design looks good. I like that it's kind of angled, that way the tubes will stack instead of having it kind of fall over sideways to one way or another. Um, yeah, and it's nice to get more organization, definitely. So. We refined our design by adding more bright colors to the design. Finally, we began implementing our design by actually building the shelves for bike saviors. We used recycled wood pieces, as it was suggested by Patrick, and used glue and nails to put the shelf together. Lastly, we painted the shelf bright red and yellow. We then brought our finished shelf to bike saviors. They were very happy with our design. It looks good. Uh, the shelf came out well. It should hold you very well for us. Wonderful. And Patrick, how do you think this uh, design is going to become an integral part of your nonprofit organization. It'll make it easy for us to find the right tube for people quickly, uh, get people rolling back on the road.